Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 83 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So this week another new background, I've um, got a lovely black lamp which um, I think is the reason why I got this background, I really like the lamp, it's um, very, I don't know, it's very dramatic isn't it? And so is my lipstick, <laughs> it's very red, it's called Boss Lady, B-A-W-S-E and it's from the Lip Bar which is a very big black owned beauty brand in the US and these lipsticks are sold in um, Target and very inexpensive I've got a few of them but this one is fairly new <laughs> it's very dramatic and the makeup I had was um, very on my eyes it was very light and I just looked like I only had lips and no face <laughs> so I had to put a bit more um, blusher and um, concealer not concealer um, contour on my face and I had to pull some really um, thick black eyeliner on my eyes so that I looked like I had eyes and not just lips. And I had my hair up so my hair is down so <laughs> just I look like a person not just lips. So when you watch the video on YouTube you'll see that it's very very red. It's like a blue red and I love blue red. I think this is the first one that I've had and it's very dramatic. I, I like it a lot and it's very matte. Uh, I love gloss. I have not put gloss on top. I've just let it stay matte and yeah I love it. It's very dramatic. So um, let's start with the week. So the week started on the 3rd of August and as I'm looking down I'm looking at my fluffy rainbow um, unicorn diary and on Monday let me see what this says. Oh, I've got a note for makeup, but I've just ignored it. Um, so on Monday, I edited, uploaded and promoted my podcast as I always do. Um, I also got some makeup from um, a makeup brand called Makeup Addiction. And let me just fix something on my computer here that's better so I can see everything so I got some makeup from a, a makeup brand in the US like I ordered this like two months ago and this is makeup addiction cosmetics and it's from a black owned beauty brand in the UK and this palette I'm holding it in my hand it's lovely and blue and it's called meadow and Meadow, oh I forgot to put something on here so you can't see um, oh, everything. So on the top of the palette it says addicted to your beauty within which is nice and it's got a mirror which is nice because it's um, a paper palette and when you look inside the colors are just lovely the meadow colors I guess you would say there's pinks and greens and blues and natural colors as well there's one color on there it's called slate green and I tried it on it looks nice on your finger but when you put it on your eye it looks like somebody punched you <laughs> in the eye so it's not the best color on skin um, maybe it might look better on darker skin but on my skin didn't it's not a good color it looks like somebody hit me but the gold colors bronzed leaf and the pink one pink blossom is lovely but the bronzy colors like oh this bronzy color here and this color here it's like a peach color it's not coming across very well um, but they're gorgeous. They're just lovely. I was wearing those during the week and I was getting quite a few looks from people like, oh, that that's nice. And then for free, I got this little gloss, this, um, uh, what is it? Oh, they've called the pigment, but it's like a, um, eye, eye, gold eye dust and it's called Million Dollar. Can't see it. There you go. It's called Million Dollar and it's just like this gold, oh, this lovely gold dust. 
um, the pigments on from Black Eye Beauty brands, the pigments in in the colors are extraordinary. It's nothing like what you would normally get. But I've noticed the Black Eye Beauty brands are just really excelling in this area, and it's understandable. But it's just gorgeous. Like you can really see the color. So I got those two. They came on Monday. And on Monday, I also watched um, McMillions on Netflix. It was the last episode. Uh, there were six episodes. I'm not sure if there's more, but it looked like it was pretty much done. And it was about McDonald's and how you could win a million dollars. I don't know if you can do it anymore from the Monopoly game and how it became corrupted. And this one guy kind of hijacked it for like 10 years and he stole the one million dollar pieces and he would um, not really sell them. But if you wanted one, you would have to split the proceeds with him. But some people became in debt because of the plan that he had for people like some people never even got the money they they had they got the check like the big you know those big fake checks and they did their advertising and and for one guy um he never saw any of the million dollars and for one lady she was like in in debt because she had to um just from the plan that they made i can't remember why but she said that she never saw the money so what happens is they would give you the piece you would go um i think you have to give a deposit of like ten thousand or a hundred thousand it was a hundred thousand dollars so she had to mortgage her, her house this was an african-american lady she had to mortgage her house to give them one hundred thousand dollars she would go and give the piece to mcdonald's they would um give her the money but she had to pass it on to them or or did or did they get the money and they got the money and then they would give her something but she, I don't think she saw anything because she was so in debt from having to pay um, them off that I don't think she even saw any of the money it's really messy um, a lot of people got next to nothing or nothing uh, it was, just wasn't worth it it was, it was really sad and one of the guys that was involved in the scam he got killed because it got allegedly bumped off um, from the main guy and um, yeah the main guy only got three years but he got to Uncle Jerry they called him Uncle Jerry this is on Netflix so if you've got Netflix um, it's called McMillions definitely have a watch um, a watch of it hang on was it on if I watched it on TV it wouldn't have been on Netflix or was it on Netflix and I hired it well, I got it from Foxtel, so now I'm confusing myself. I have a look for it on Netflix, but I saw it on Foxtel, but I wonder if it was from the Netflix account. Okay, I'm confused now. I can't remember. But look for it. It's called McMillions. It's um, extraordinary. And, yeah, it's really sad um, what happened with the families and what happened to the people. I mean, every single person over the 10 to 12 years got caught every single person got caught and every single person um everyone got caught everyone got a sentence some people had to pay some people have to pay the government and the fbi got involved because um the mother of the guy that was killed got fed up with everything that was happening and she told the fbi and then that's how they found out but if the mother never said anything um she was the informant they would never have found out because it was just so well done and then the guy they just couldn't figure out how the guy was doing it and then when he said how he was doing it they said it was just so brilliantly simple and the guy said you know what? i'm dumb but at least i'm not as dumb as they are <laughs> i don't know i can't remember what the quote was yeah, I'm dumb, but, you know, I can't remember now. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. So then on Tuesday, had a heap of chores. I edited, uploaded, um, I edited and uploaded the video podcast. And I made the beat video for my um, beat for last week, which was photos, which is this lovely pop dance sort of, I think it's more like an 80s type beat um photos yeah and i forgot to even listen to the beat last week so i couldn't even tell you what it was about but i have listened to the beat for this week 
Uh, so that was on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I, I promoted my video. Um, and uh, when you your video goes up on YouTube, it gives you options where you can promote it. And there's a new logo there from Live Journal, which I've never heard of. So I'm promoting my videos on Live Journal now, and that's under cnssongs.live. So I think it's Live Journal. No, it's cnssongs.livejournal.com. Yeah. Um, so the video went live, the podcast went live on YouTube, and I promoted it. Um, I also got asked to review makeup, and they said to me all I have to do is pay postage. But they didn't have PayPal and I don't like buying anything off the internet unless PayPal is available. If there's no PayPal, I won't buy because I just feel quite secure with PayPal. Um, and their Insta didn't really, their Insta account didn't credit anyone. There's just pictures of people with their palettes. And, and there was no other info and I thought I don't want to be, I really don't want to be a part of it. Um... The makeup brushes they had, I got off eBay for like $12 and I got up um, like um, 12 brushes and for like 12, 12 brushes for like $12 and they were selling five brushes for $40. I'm like, that's a rip off. And it was exactly the same brushes that I had. And I just thought not really interested. So I just passed on that. Uh, so that was on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, on Thursday I was very adventurous and I got on the roof and we've got this massive fig tree and I cut um, a lot of the fig tree and I was very proud of myself for doing that because some of the branches were really big and my neighbour, who's an old, they're an old Italian couple, he was like, what are you doing up there? And I said to him, I'm a monkey in a tree. And he was saying, you know, oh, that's, you know, too much, too much work, too much. And his wife came out, she's like, what are you doing there? And I said, you know, I have to cut it. It's hitting on the roof and it's going to cause damage. So, yeah. Um, so on Thursday, I do shopping as well. And then on Thursday, like grocery shopping. And on Thursday, I received the Huda Beauty... I'm holding it up now. Huda Beauty um, Nymph Highlight Powder. And it's massive. It's the size of my hand. And inside is the, um, the palette. And it's like a rose. And it's all gold. And if I give you a, um, a look... That's it there. I've got some, um, that's from the liquid eyeliner. <laughs> and there's the gold colour is there. And I've got that all over my face. Can you, you can sort of see a sheen. A bit of a gold sheen all over. And with this, you, I also bought the brush. And this brush is a size almost of my arm. Like a third of my arm from my fingertips past my wrist and a, a little way down mm, I should have measured it it's it's a beautiful brush though beautiful big fluffy brush and it's just lovely and that came and that only took like five days to come and that came from um, Dubai and I'm really impressed with that but they did do a DHL and it came pretty quick it's kind of disappointing to see with some of the other brands it's taking months and i've also bought some stuff from a brand that's in sydney and it's taken over two weeks now and that's coming five days from dubai so that's really disappointing um so that's nymph from huda huda beauty um i also got a plug-in um, called Radiator from Sound Toys, and this I'm such a sucker. This plugin came on my um, uh, um, Instagram feed, 
and it's normally $129 but it was only $29 and I thought oh this is a really good buy and it was saying that it's a plug-in that gives your beat your music more like a Motown feel and I thought I'll just get it but I'm not very good with plugins. Um, I just I tend to find that I like things the original way that I hear them. So I've used it like once or twice, but I haven't noticed that there's a big difference. And I've got a lot of plugins. I wasted my money buying this stuff because really I just like the natural sound from a sample that I've got. So on Thursday, I also watched Jumping Jack Flash, the movie with Whoopi Goldberg. I hadn't seen this in ages and it's really awesome. It was really nice to see just some lovely, innocent, uh, a lovely, innocent movie, even though there's murder in it. But it's not as grungy and dirty as it is today. It was just really very innocent. I can't remember when that was made, the 90s, 80s, 90s, somewhere there. Um, Thursday and on Thursday I finished a beat called Sounds and this beat has got sounds of the city in there. Uh, it's not my best work, it's very simple and all the samples in this beat, instead of using drums and hi-hats and snares and all that, it's all samples of like an air conditioner, um, the city sounds, tennis ball, um, a belt, uh, just unusual things that sounded good. A ha hairspray. Um, so yeah, if you listen to my, um, if you have a check in CNS songs, you'll see there's a um, a sample there. I've got to get better with the sound because you can't hear it too clearly. But I'm always doing beats at night, so I have to be quiet. Um, I also made a beat called Duncan and i've completely forgotten already and i think it's a little bit off key but i like it these are the notes that i've written i didn't use the right keys in the scale i can't remember what it's called now oh i can't remember what what it sounds like now um i also put radiator on there to warm the sound so on master i've beat um it affected the bass so I think the bass has got more of a grumble now. I can't remember the whole bit. I can remember putting radiator on then the and the bass has got like a grumble in it now. Before it was quiet because um, it didn't really fit in so I kept it quiet. But when I put radiator on there it gave it this grumble so it sounds really nice. And I mixed and mastered it too so that's two beats for the weeks. Too many. And... Uh, from my manufacturer for my um, invention just feeling a bit of heat from them um, because they're incredibly expensive like I got the cost for manufacturing my product and I got the cost for a prototype and I just thought I need to get more quotes but because it's a new invention I'm, I'm scared because I have to get people to sign NDAs non-disclosure agreements and it stopped me from doing a lot of work and then on Friday, I decided that I was just fed up with this. I didn't want to pay the manufacturer, even though the guy's lovely and he's helped me so much. I went online and I looked for 3D printers. And there were some where you can put in your... Um, your design the the CAD design which is the drawing of your invention and it will tell you give you a quote and I got a quote for like twenty dollars and I was like is this right so I rang one of them up which is very close to me and they said yeah that's the price so I'm like oh great and they also had a material that is similar to silicon which is what I want to make my um, invention from so I'm waiting for that to come and if that is um, turns out really good because I've got different versions of my invention I'll do all of them which would be fantastic because I never expected to do that uh, because the first um, prototype that I did cost me about 400 and now this um, prototype with that inventor is going to cost 1650 but with a 3D printers, it's only costing me $23. So if I can get all of them done, I thought I'm not going to be able to see the other designs until like a year um, down the track, one or two years down the track. 
And um, yeah, I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to see all, I've got four designs. Um, I'll be able to see them in the next couple of weeks. So that'll be awesome. And I thought I had lost my billionaire mentor because I've been babbling <laughs> about nothing. <laughs> and I just took photos of my front yard because I've got my Christmas decorations still out, mainly because it makes me happy. Um, and I was just sending him photos and stuff and I hadn't heard from him and then I said to him I found out about the pricing for my for manufacturing and I'm like how am I going to find the money and what advice can he give me and he didn't respond to nothing but he's done that before so I thought I'm just going to persevere and then I let it go for a few days and then I said to him um, on Friday that um, I'm working on my business plan and that it's helped me clear my head up and which is true because it it clears paths so that you know what you're doing where you're going and I also said oh whose crazy idea was it to start a business during these times and he goes you've got to own that and I said yeah I do but there's never going to be a good time and now is a good time as any because this is a cosmetic accessory and it's not going to be very expensive I, it's going to be about twenty dollars retail and i've been buying like the huda beauty and the brush that cost me like 150 dollars, and i paid for that and all the makeup that i'm buying so when it comes to cosmetics because it's something that makes you happy and you like it you you buy it so i don't think it's, there's going to be a problem even though the economy is really bad i mean if i'm spending money buying this stuff i'm sure somebody's going to spend 15 bucks to buy my invention so 15 20 bucks so now is a good a time as any um on friday i also had lots of admin stuff i made another beat a lo-fi beat called cozy which was a lovely it's a very simple beat very easy to make because i used it from sample packs it's called like a construction kit and what they've done is they've already made the beat and they've um, split all the instruments and then you just pick what you want to use and then you can do make a different beat so I used two different construction kits and I made my own beat it was very simple like 20 minutes and it was done um, and it's called cozy because the pack that I got it from is called cozy winter so that was nice very lovely easy going kind of beat so three beats done in a week woohoo um, 3d printer yep that was on friday and i also i don't know who else is buying crazy stuff online but i also got um i'm a very vain person and um i was thinking about because i've done these um facial treatments where they put this red light on your face to help with your skin to look young and youthful and all that and this um when i went to the salon and i had it done i could swear i thought i was going to go blind because it was so bright i'm like am i going to be able to see when this is over and i was thinking about it and then i was looking through ebay and for some reason this mask came up and i thought oh that's like the mask that i had at the salon or the at the salon it was more like a table over your face but this is the actual mask and i tried it um and it glows red so the mask I'm just taking it out of the box looks like this <laughs> I know that looks crazy and then when you plug it in it goes bright red but there's also lots of different colors that it goes but the red one is the more important one because that's the one that really helps your skin but the light on that one is like 10% of the light that I had at the salon. And I looked it up. It was also in the paper the other day. It must have been on the weekend in the health and health and beauty section, the body and health section. And they don't know if these uh, will, will do anything. It wasn't that expensive. It was like $50. But... Uh, at least you you have it for half an hour and there's a timer and it's not that comfortable on your face but it's something and it hasn't done my skin any damage as you can see <laughs> there's no damage um so it's all good so that was friday and then on saturday i've got had a lazy day here 
on Saturday we do the gardening uh, oh we do vacuuming clean the house as always I did some gardening um dream uh, oh yeah I did some gardening um and outside later in the day um, mum and I went to plant some roses that I bought um, before the shutdown and because I've got the Christmas decorations only solar powered they're connected by cords and mum didn't see one coming back and she fell <laughs> she fell on she fell on her face and she said that one of the Christmas tree um, decorations that I've got saved her she goes that little tree is my saving grace if it wasn't for the tree I would have cracked my head open and it's not nice to see your parents fall but I was trying hard not to laugh but it was funny but she's fine and um, one of my and then when I saw her fall I um, ran around but my leg got tangled in one of the cords as well and I ended up breaking one of my candy canes and mum ended up um, ruining for that night the trees and then um, today uh, which is Sunday so that happened yesterday on Saturday yeah. And today I noticed that everything is working. I, I glued and taped back the candy cane. So hopefully the glue will hold and I can take the tape off. Um, I also got some makeup from this Nigerian makeup brand called Yanga Beauty. And it's a beauty salon. I think it's just from a beauty salon in Nigeria. And they've got this lovely makeup. And if you buy it from their um, shop... Um, shipping to Australia is $73 and I thought that was wrong so I messaged them on Instagram and they manually did and they're like yeah it's $73 I'm like I'm not buying for the $73 I've bought a lot of makeup and I've paid for a lot of makeup to be shipped I've shipped and I've never ever paid that much so I'm sorry and then they said try this other um, website and it's in Canada and it'll be cheaper and it was is $11 shipping which is fantastic and it's in Canadian dollars which is even better not US dollars because the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar is almost on par and um, but they have a uh, less selection and this particular website um, it's uh, it doesn't have a big selection of their makeup but I got a mascara and a lipstick and just to help them and to also try the makeup so that should be coming maybe in two three months I don't know and on Saturday I also had this dream about an owl it was this big fat owl like huge owl and I can't remember where we were but there was a table there and there was an owl there was an eagle and there was another bird I can't remember what the other bird was and they're all big and they're hopping around and I looked at the eagle and I thought no no that eagle is too big and then I looked at the owl because I wanted it to come next to me so I put my sleeve down and I said to the owl yeah come come so that it could go on my arm and he, he hopped over it was hopping and then it hopped on my arm and I sort of braced myself for the pain but there wasn't any pain and it was heavy it was a bit heavy and it sat on my arms like a huge owl and I put my face in its belly I just sort of nestled my head into its belly and then I wake up and I thought that was a lovely dream nice big fat owl because on Instagram I saw a post about this big fat owl and that was like a few days ago so I don't know owls usually represent wisdom and I need a lot of that so that was beautiful and the owl was hopping around and the eagle was hopping around and I thought no nah, I don't want the eagle it's too big but the owl was bigger than the eagle and I thought maybe his claws were too fierce but anyway the owl was lovely so today is Sunday and what have I got here glass animals so Sunday I've just been chilling I got up at like midday and I saw it again a bit more of the fig tree um, because it's going dry and it needs to go and um, with the fig tree and then I went for a walk to for some exercise and I noticed on iTunes um, a band called glass animals was trending and the album is called Dreamland and I thought oh I'll have a listen to it 
And there is this awesome song called Tokyo Drifting. And this band is an indie band. And this is sort of like a hip hop beat. Um, so it's a hip hop indie sort of beat, which is really awesome. And it's got this thumping kick in it. Um, bass kick and just sounds awesome so have a listen to that um, glass animals and the beat the song that I liked is Tokyo drifting and th it was saying that this album in 2018 the band's drummer was in a car accident um, I think a truck hit him and he almost died and then this album sort of come from all that but I haven't noticed anything existential spoken on there it's um, just a lot of different sort of stuff on there. Um, but yeah, check that out, Glass Animals. Um, other than that, haven't been doing much, just chilling. Um, so the beat of the week is called Trauma. And Trauma is a very harsh trap beat, uh, very angry sounding. And it's a very interesting beat. Uh, all these beats I've made ages ago. But this one I did have listened to before I started. It's this awesome. It's a very heavy trap sounding kind of beat. I like it. It's very different to anything that I've done before. Um, so before I play um, beat of the week. Uh, make sure you're looking after yourself. Your mental health is really bad at the moment. The shutdown. Um, but today I noticed when I went for a walk, there's a lot of people outside, a lot of people working out with those medicine balls and those big giant um, um, bells, you know, that you can hold on to, those balls with the bells on there. I don't know what they're called. Um, yeah, a lot of people out, even though it was cold, uh, a lot of people out were um, exercising, working out, just being outside with their dogs, which I envy because I'd love a dog. Um, so yeah, um, the government's putting in more money for mental health, um, assistance, Beyond Blue's got some, um, more services and speak to your GP if you really need help, um, and look after yourselves, talk to your friends, stay in the loop, um, just know that there's, the government's really plowing in a lot of money for mental health, so um, access a service if you need it. I know I'm accessing a service, I'm just kind of waiting my turn. Um, it's not easy when I've got two parents who I have to look after and one's really not doing so well, so, you know, I need help in that area too. So, um, yeah, make sure you look after yourselves. Uh, Lifeline is there beyond blue and speak to your GP. Um, and also share my podcast with your friends or someone you think would like to hear it or see it. Um, leave messages, correspond with me. I love chatting with people, always love hearing from people. So um, the beat of the week, as I said, is trauma. It's like this harsh trap beat um very angry sounding but it's still really cool too very different so i hope you check it out let me know what you think and i will catch you guys next week take care and bye